Okay, hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, Ben's vlog is here, and today we are going to talk about the 8610 and the motorized uh, breaker. So, uh, the 8610 is a uh, deep sea module, deep sea, I mean, and the uh, motorized breaker is from EBB. So, so now, uh, what is the main feature of this uh, module? So, deep sea module is this we're using for uh, synchronizing, uh, so meaning you can parallel one or more generator to another so and also you need a uh, motorized breaker to make it uh, uh, automation uh, so guys let's go to the actual set of a generator so you can see the main features and the functions of this uh, module okay let's go and so guys we are here in the actual uh, set of a generator so as you can see this is uh, uh, 8610 this is uh, you can see it guys this is the 16th so this is for uh, synchronizing uh, module and let's go in the back so you can see the main feature for the uh, this uh, module so now as you can see here uh, we have the battery logo so meaning this is the supply of your uh, module so in here we have the emergency stop so this is connected from your emergency stop and this one is for your uh, fuel switch so meaning you have a relay for this one installed and this is for your starter so this is what uh, this is what we call here the digital output so meaning in this area here so you can see in this area here is uh, for your digital output so meaning they will send you positive out because you have you can see there is some uh, logo uh, positive out so meaning they will give you positive output now you are just repair on your uh, uh, manual or your standard wiring because we are different wiring uh, standards so in ours in here this is for the as you can see this one is uh, the charging alternator and the rest is your options so whatever you want you can use it so from here as the standard or deep sea so we have the uh, the earthing so and it's in here we have the the OL and this one is the uh, colon sensor and the rest is optional so you can use it uh, whatever the options you have so and and in here as you can see this is the communications uh, between your uh, engine so this is going to the ECU okay uh, and uh, and this side and now this is the one of your communications this is very big important because in this area here this is the one uh, communications between your one or how many generators has been connected because in this uh, panel we're talking about for synchronizing module so this is the connections but don't forget and the end of your connections there is uh, what we call uh, the resistor so I will uh, tell you what is the value for this one uh, later on so that is end-to-end -end point only you can put the resistor for that one so to identify the module that this is the end point of your uh, sets of a generator okay so now in this area we have the communication between your governor so this is uh, meaning the function of this one is uh, for your communications between your rpm how uh, they give how much the uh, the speed they needed to match each other and this one also is for your avr so meaning they have uh, communications between uh, the avr between uh, uh, each other because uh, in order to match the, the 
the voltage uh, so they can sync so in this in here we have uh, this is what we call the digital input so meaning in the standard here in the DPC we have already this one is uh, uh, it depends on the program you are needed for in hours so this one is uh, uh, the coolant the, the oil and the rest is the remote and everything so this one is here is the emergency stop canopy emergency stop and everything you can uh, do your own program so you have to refer to your own standards so as you can see here this is for your city connections this is for your city connections as you can see guys you can see here this is a uh, city connections and in here so this one is for your sensing so for your voltage sensing and this one is for your uh, voltage uh, input on this point here is for your command for your breaker so this is uh, you can put it this one for your opening or for your closing this is the the, the main feature for this uh, two here so at this one here guys uh, you can see we have the fuses and uh, we have also the battery charger so down below is you can see we have uh, we have the fuel relay and we have the auxiliary for your breaker auxiliary and we have the breaker close at this under the under voltage so this is what we call the uvr so meaning if there is some failure of low voltage with automatic uh, open your breaker so it will not close for uh, for the safety so seen here all the connection is connected here so this is the input and this is for the output so this is the main uh, feature for that one so in here in the breaker this one for is, uh, ABB breaker as you can see this is motorized breaker so down here is the sensing for your roadside so meaning if it is the breaker is closed uh, you can understand the module that it is uh, closed already so they will give uh, functions to the module to, to uh, <coughs> run okay so now I will show you guys so at this point guys I will show you the actual uh, functions of, uh, of the, this uh, breaker and the module how they will work together and uh, what is the uh, error if in case if there is some wrong connections because this is new so we'll try an error for that one so you can see what is uh, the problem uh, during the program and during we are going if we are going to start up the engine so guys I'm going to start again As you can see guys there is some error so meaning uh, this one is uh, the alarm is loading voltage not rich so meaning uh, we need to adjust the voltage in order to reach the the, the seat, seat point for the voltage okay so now guys I'm going to start again because we adjusted already the voltage if uh, there is still an error okay So guys, you can see the voltage now is 415 because the voltage standard they're using for the customer is 415 and you can see the generator is uh, going to generator available so meaning it is now normal. So let's go for the other tests so we can uh, go for the rest of our uh, troubleshooting. Okay guys, and so guys, we're going to test the breaker if it is closing or not and what is the uh, error if uh, there is some wrong connections. Okay? I will start the generator.
can see guys uh, generator is failed to close because uh, the problem is uh, there is some wrong connection so we will check it where is that one so I'll open it and so guys since uh, before I told you that uh, this is for the this uh, module here is uh, for your uh, breaker auxiliary so meaning if there is some failure this one uh, uh, for like uh, breaker not closing so fail to close so you have to check this one because this is for your uh, breaker auxiliary so meaning inside of your breaker if there is some uh, dry contact there for uh, uh, close or open whatever the functions you're going to use in order to give signal for your FDPC okay so I will check what is the wiring here so uh, this point uh, now so this one is uh, 24 down here so I will check the 24 if it is uh, correct here so as you can see guys this is uh, wrong connections so I will uh, uh, correct it first Okay, now we're going to start back the generator. So, yes, we can see the time is there is some problem. So now we will start. So you can see we are fixed already the problem. So that is the connection is wrong. So now we were connected in the correct uh, connection. So now we will start again if it is okay. the 
So guys, we are done for load testing, so it is working 100%. So because in synchronizing, we are doing only at 100%. So that's it for today. So thank you for watching. So see you.